Obviously, you've seen the title. I'm getting double jaw surgery. This is something that I've been considering for years and I've gotten a ton of questions about it. So in this video, I'm just gonna explain everything about why I'm doing this. I'll explain in full detail later, but the short answer is no, it's not done for cosmetic reasons. It's a really intense procedure and to just do it for, I, I personally wouldn't do it just for cosmetic reasons. It's like way too much of a hassle for that. It's not done for cosmetic reasons, but it does change the way that you look. So I can see how people get that confused. For the full picture, let's rewind to when I was younger. So when I was younger, I had an underbite and my teeth in general were just pretty jacked up if we're being honest here. Nearly all orthodontists will tell you the best way to permanently get rid of an underbite is by having jaw surgery and that's what my orthodontist recommended to me and I was not down for it. I remember being 13 and my orthodontist telling me that and I just started crying because it just sounded so scary. Back then they actually wired your jaw shut and you would, couldn't eat for a month. You know, you could only drink your food and that freaked me out. I was like, I'm not doing it. So my orthodontist at the time came up with an alternative method. He gave me a bite block so I could couldn't really fully bite down with my braces. A bite block was just an appliance that they used to kind of camouflage my underbite that didn't really truly fix the problem of my jaw being in the wrong place. Here's my 18 year old self explaining poorly what a bite block is. But my orthodontist fixed it with a bite block, which is like this weird like plate. And I'm pretty sure like I threw that away a bit. Plate that you put on your bottom teeth that blocks it from biting down all the way and it like forces your jaw to like move back. So yeah, you can see it's not, it doesn't like go like that anymore. It goes over. So when I got my braces off, miraculously, I didn't have an underbite anymore. It was kind of amazing, actually. Over time, however, mm -hmm. this is what they don't tell you about those alternative methods. They don't always last. So over time, my jaw, it started to shift back. My wisdom teeth were growing in and my bite was just moving around a lot. One day I could bite down on this side, but this side wasn't aligning or what, and then they would switch. So since I got my braces off, my bite went from this to now being like this. It is not functional and it's really not comfortable either. Over the years, basically every dentist has told me that I need to go see an orthodontist again. So I saw three different orthodontists and they all recommended if I really wanted to get rid of it truly once and for all, then it would require jaw surgery. So I'm 25 now from the time I was 18 to now in that seven years, it shifted back to this weird open bite they call it edge to edge. My top teeth and my bottom teeth just are hitting each other. And let me tell you guys, it is not functional. So this is a 3D model of my teeth where you can really see how weird this open bite is. In the back, the teeth don't hit. A normal bite is forward a bit, so you get all your teeth colliding and you're able to chew. This is my bite now. I mean, this is me biting down all the way. People typically don't believe this is my bite, but yeah, that's me biting down as hard as I can. So I've had this open cross bite thing for a few years now and I've noticed in that time it's just gotten worse. My jaw clicks when I talk, my jaw has more pain than it used to and it's harder than ever to eat. The simple act of chewing food is actually a big struggle for me these days. I can really only chew with my front four teeth. I basically chew like a hamster. It looks kind of funny and um, it also is just not functional <laughs> at all. So for example, if I bite into this date here, you can see my front teeth hit each other, but they don't chew the date at all. Like it's not even touched basically. Some foods just, I can't even really chew. I just end up kind of chopping them a little bit with my front teeth and then swallowing them in pieces. Just can't be good for you. And then just in general, my bite really isn't comfortable. When I bite down, I can't hold it for very long, usually like a second and then it just starts quivering. You can see it here when I zoom in. I always thought this was normal until I realized that it this is not normal. <laughs> in addition to the problems I have now, I've been told that if my bite continues like this, it can eventually crack my front teeth. They're just getting way too much impact for teeth that really can't handle it. And while I would say right now I have mild TMJ, and jaw pain. I've noticed 
noticed it getting worse, especially in the last year, and I really don't want it to get so bad that it affects my life really dramatically. Okay, enough complaining about my jaw. I really don't mean to complain about it. I just wanted to explain why I'm doing this because everyone does assume that it's cosmetic. Okay, so what are they actually gonna do? And everyone's favorite question, is this a cosmetic procedure? So what they're actually doing is moving the upper jaw forward and the lower jaw back slightly. I'm talking millimeters here. And it's not really a cosmetic procedure, but it can change the way that you look. The thing is, if your jaw isn't functioning properly, chances are it also doesn't look, you know, the ideal aesthetic. So fixing the function, it does actually change how your jaw looks. It's sort of like how everyone gets braces. Everyone gets them so they have a functioning bite and to avoid potential dental issues. But by default, you end up looking a lot better with straight teeth. With this type of surgery, any sort of cosmetic change is just a byproduct of fixing the function. In pretty much every video I've watched, people look better after. My jaw is just kind of mildly out of place though, so I don't think it will really look that different. Really what they're actually doing, it's so subtle. I have this before and after sort of thing. And I couldn't even see a difference really the first time I looked at it. So it's not really gonna be this huge difference, I don't think, in the way I look. It, may, it will probably be a bit different. So this is how my jaw looks now. I mean, if you really look, you can tell that it's it's kind of has an underbite. It kind of juts forward, but not that much. For me, this is really more about the chewing function, the pain in my jaw getting worse and avoiding damaging my front teeth. I also had these weird speech issues because of this, and this is really common in people that have had an underbite. You guys have noticed and told me a million times that the way I say S's is a little lispy. There's space here. There's just, I can't say it normally and the jaw surgery, they say, will fix that too. I know it's kind of a small, silly thing, but it actually, when it's you, the way that you speak, it would bother you too, okay? Like, people make comments about it. It's just, like, it actually really does bother me. I remember before I had braces, I never had a lisp when I say S's like that, and I had to talk slower. Like, it just makes it harder to talk. I know some of these reasons may sound like not a big deal, but trust me, when it's you that has these issues, they really are, are not fun to live with for the rest of your life. What really pushed me to do this is when I learned through all my research with this, that if I don't do anything about it, it will likely just get worse. The lisp sound can actually get worse. I mean, knowing my teeth could crack, the jaw pain could get worse, the clicking could get worse, and then living with barely being able to chew the rest of my life. I don't wanna live my entire life chewing with like three of my teeth. It's just ridiculous, you know? And when you think about it, this will be a few months that's pretty annoying, but the rest of my life will be so much better because of it. Being able to chew, the, like that's a big thing that I think a lot of people take for granted. With any kind of medical issue, the longer you wait to deal with it, really the worse it gets. So I'm like, it's been long enough. It's time to just do this. Specifically with the jaw pain and clicking, I've noticed it get worse in the last year and I really just, I I don't want it to get any worse. I would rather deal with it before it gets really bad. I am really nervous though. The surgery is no joke. I've had surgery before, so I'm not really afraid of the anesthesia and all of that, but the recovery, of this is just, it's a lot more intense than the surgeries that I've had in the past. Probably won't be able to make videos for a couple months. And that for me has been something that's really stressed me out because I've taken breaks on YouTube before, but never longer than a month. And I've been trying to pre-film and you guys like, I just can't pre-film my videos. I put so much time into each and every video and I really can't bring myself to half-ass it, like I just can't do it. Um, I don't wanna upload videos that are really bad, so I'm really sorry if for the next couple months I'm not gonna be uploading very much, but I will be uploading on my vlog channel about the whole thing if you wanna check that out. But I've just felt really um, bad about that, like I don't wanna just leave my channel there. Along with just being afraid of the actual process of the surgery, probably what stressed me out more is just knowing like I'm gonna be like really behind on stuff on this channel. Just thinking about getting it, I am really 
scared, but I think the anticipation is honestly worse. The time I'm pre-filming this, it's like a month until I actually get it, so I'm really scared. Anyway, oh god, it's just when I think about it for too long, I get really freaked out. But I think it'll be okay, I think it'll all be worth it in the end. It's not gonna be an easy recovery or an easy process, and I think I've mentally prepared a lot so far. I just wanted to make this video so you guys know where I'm what's up with me because I might disappear here for a bit because I don't really know how long it will take to recover. Hopefully I recover quickly and can get back at it. That's what I'm hoping for. You just never know. It's really different with everyone. It could be a while. I don't really know. I also just want to make this video for in the future anyone else going through it because I know that it's scary and daunting and the only thing really that's helped me is hearing from other people who have gone through it to see what it's like so that's why I'm gonna document it although I will warn you guys it's not gonna be pretty it was probably gonna be scary looking okay that is gonna be it for this video um yeah again if you're watching this I probably am currently getting it done or just got it done so I did pre-record some stuff just not a lot because I wanted them to still be pretty good videos not just rush and really bad so basically uh, things will be a little less frequent but then I'll be back and better than ever so it'll be great if you do want to follow along and see what it's how it's actually going go subscribe to my vlog channel that'll be linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video well whenever that is eh, I just always say that now it's a habit anyway okay bye <laughs>